Jesus says, imminent rapture warnings are counterproductive. How do you use your time? April 19, 2018 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Regarding sharing dreams about an imminent rapture Claire began, How do I approach this, Jesus? Jesus answered, State clearly what I've told you, and yes, do ask that question. I had a question in my mind. What have you gotten done in the five years you've postponed your life waiting for the rapture? So, in other words, if people who were persecuting our channel for saying that the rapture had been delayed for three years, and every day they're waiting for the rapture to come, what have they gotten done? What did you do with your gifts? How have you served the Lord? Yes, I do want you to speak up about this, Claire. We are at the same exact point now that we were at five years ago, and there is still too much to do. I wish for my prophets to have a wider worldview and to understand that salvation is taking place right now in the thousands, because people are out laboring in the fields. Place 10 people side by side, same age, same commitment level to me, same education and cultural economic background, and present them with this message. Line them up in a row and declare, the rapture is imminent. Now stand back and watch what they do. You will see that nine will react in fear and begin building their shelters, laying up food, warning their relatives and so on. You will see one walk away and go into the mission field or ministry to help with the harvest of souls. Now, place 10 more people with more or less equal values and commitments and tell them the rapture is postponed for four to six years. Watch what they do. One will go home saying, cool, and play their video games, thinking they have all the time in the world. Six will begin to question, Lord, since we have that much time left, what can I do for you? and three will go into accelerated drive and put their dreams for my kingdom as their only priority in life. I tell you the truth. These continual rapture warnings, if not presented properly, drive people into fear and self-preservation, which causes them to abandon their dreams and gifts in favor of taking care of loved ones who will not be taken. Speaking mathematically, one out of ten will launch forward to bring more into the kingdom. The other nine will turn inward to their own families and prepare. What I do want is everyone swinging into action, using the gifts they have as they are given opportunity and as with you, Claire, honing their skills. Do you see how self-defeating urgent warnings can be? Those waiting for the rapture will not be busy about my business when I come and they may very well be left behind. Those working hard while they still have time will be rewarded with a flight to heaven. There are many rooftop sitters who will go through the tribulation because they were not clothed for the wedding feast and there was no oil in their lamps because they were living for themselves. This is the great danger here. Lord, so how do we proceed? Just as I've taught you. 
You have very little time left, but enough to do what's been assigned and even cultivate new talents and put them to work to save souls. The Muslim nations are crying out for truth. They are disenchanted because of ISIS. They have serious doubts and concerns about what the Quran teaches, and some even wonder if the Christian's God is the one true God. But there's no Christian there to tell them, because they're all at home working on their shelters and trying to get their families prepared. I've told you what qualifies a soul for the rapture. It can be summed up in one sentence. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, all your strength, and love your brother as yourself. In other words, think as I think. Comfort the poor, the lost, the sick with my comfort my words and prayers, and live for others, not for yourself. Then you will resemble me when I return, and I will recognize you as my bride immediately. Do you see? The affluent, self-preoccupied Christians will be nowhere in sight, because they are at home serving themselves. But those who are out and about expending themselves for others, those I will see and take immediately.